This video is on the coefficient of variation and how to find it in StatCrunch and what it means. It's good practice to compare two sample standard deviations only when the sample means are approximately the same. But when comparing variation in samples or populations with different means, very different means, it's better to use a coefficient of variation. That's what we have here. Also, use the coefficient of variation to compare variation from two samples or populations with different scales or units of values, such as comparison of variation of heights of men and weights of men. Okay? So here on the right, we have the formula. If you were going to do it by hand, this is the population standard deviation over the population mean. So the coefficient of variation, or they have CV for short, is for a set of non-negative sample or population data is expressed as a percent. It describes the standard deviation relative to the mean and is given by these formulas. This is the population and this is the sample. So let's look at our example in my math lab here. A sample of blood pressure measurements is taken for a group of adults and those values are listed below. The values are matched so that the 10 subjects each have a systolic and diastolic measurement. Okay. Find the coefficient of variation for each of the two samples, then compare the variation. Well, we can do that at the same time quickly in uh, StatCrunch. Otherwise, you have to find out the mean of this, uh, standard deviation of it, and do the division, and then do the calculation and, and compare. And so you can do that with the formulas, like the mean is easy, and the standard deviation isn't that bad, but it takes a little bit of time. Let's go down and just or click the box next to it and open in StatCrunch. There's both of our data. Now we can go to just stat and we're going to do summary stats on the columns. We're going to select both of them so hold down your command key. That puts both of them over there. And then we just got to make sure we have the coefficient of variation in here. And there it is. So I'm going to hold down the command key, put it in, and then click compute. My systolic Coefficient of variation is 14.47, rounded up to the nearest tenth place, so 14.5. My diastolic is 16.89 or 16.9 percent. So these are percentages, right? Because it was a, it's a ratio of the standard deviation to the mean. And in this example, we're doing sample. Okay. So now we're going to compare them compare the variation. The coefficients of variation for each data set are within five percentage points of each other. They're close, right? So this five percentage points is kind of our magic number. Therefore, the symbolic measurements vary about the same as the diastolic measurements. So basically, if, we can, if they're relatively close together, within a five percentage points of each other, then they're about the same. Okay? So that's how you can quickly find the coefficient of variation in StatCrunch.